everyone, welcome back to I See Melanie and today we're doing another review of MAC lipsticks because yes, we love our MAC lipsticks. And as I'm sure all of you know, the Jean-Baptiste Valley collection came out last week and yeah, and it sold like hotcakes. Yes, yes. So we'll be reviewing four out of the five shades because one of the shades called Bianca B. Yeah. Right, it is a pale white pink color, and we knew it would look horrible on our NC, well, her NC45 and my NW45 skin tone. It's not a good look. So, we're gonna jump right into the first shade. So, the first shade that we're wearing today is called Margarita, and as you can see, it's it's a bright peachy shade. I think on the MAC website it's described as a yellow peach, a bright yellow peach. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's Pretty bright. Um, I, I like this color, but again, I would not leave the house wearing this color without a lip liner. It's just, it's not. I don't think I leave the house wearing this color at all. Like, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> well, you know what? Again, it's the kind of shade. Like half of these shades, you do need a liner to work with it. If you have dark skin, it's kind of a universal rule. I don't know about you. I wear it. Well, obviously, I bought it, so I'd wear it. But yeah, a liner is necessary. So we're gonna show you what that looks like. Okay. <laughs> so this is us wearing a uh, margarita with cork lip liner, which I think you'll probably agree looks much better on both of us. Better. <laughs> to wear it with Night Moth, I know I mention that all the time. It's another more berry shade that I think would look good too, but I think this is a pretty good match for this one. It looks better. Better is a relative term. I still don't think this looks very nice and I won't be wearing it. <laughs> you'll never see me wearing this ever again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we know how you feel. Yeah. Um, one thing I would say about this shade is with some of the more white toned shades, it does, it is a little bit streaky going yeah, on. So, you know, just be careful of that. I would maybe put it on, blot it, or maybe put a gloss on top to help with that. Yeah. But if you're me, you don't need to worry about that because I'm never wearing this again. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now for those of you who weren't able to get this shade, I swatched Sushi Kiss next to it. And the only difference I'd say between these two is that Sushi Kiss is a satin. Otherwise, they're so, so similar. I think Sushi Kiss is slightly pinker, but pretty much the same thing. So the next color that we're wearing from the collection is called Tots. And it's described on the website as a bright hot pink, which I'd say is a pretty accurate description. I really like this shade. I actually wore the shade all day yesterday and it was really, really easy to wear. It went on smoothly. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's very bright. It's very nice and it's great for the summertime. I think it's very pretty. I have no complaints here. This is much a great improvement over the last one. Yes, I, I would tend to agree, and I think with this one as well, you don't need, probably don't need to wear a lip liner, at least I don't feel like I need to. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a good one. I like this one a lot. Ooh. So next to Tots, I've swatched Viva Glam Miley Cyrus, and I'd say that Miley is a touch deeper than Tots, and it's also an amplified finish, which gives it a bit more sheen, but still very similar shades. So the next shade that we're wearing is called Charlotte, and this one's described on the website as a rich yellow red, which I think is a pretty accurate description again. I think so too, it's nice. Um, I do prefer the more bold reds. This is very nice, I think this, I would wear this color more in the fall or the winter, hmm. but um, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, I mean I like it, I wear it now. It's, um, I, I really like it, it's just easy to go on, really smooth, just like Tots, I really, like it. I wore it on, I think I wore it on Monday and it was good. It lasted all day and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So next to Charlotte, I've swatched Russian Red, which is one of my all-time favorites. Russian Red is a blue-based red versus Charlotte, which is a yellow-based red, but on the lips, they look almost identical. Both have that creamy matte finish. And so the last lipstick that we have from this collection is called Eugenie, or Eugenie, however you want to say it. And it's described as a wine with blue undertones. Dark cherry. Dark cherry, sorry about that. And again, I think they did a pretty good job of sticking to accurate color descriptions. I would say that is accurate. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about this one? I like it, it's very pretty. I think this is maybe my favorite dark shade I've tried on all the Macs actually. I like it because it's, it's dark, but it's kind of not light, but it's like it has bright. a vibrance to it. Yeah, it's yes. vibrance to it, so it's not so like uh, it's dead or anything like that. So I, I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think this would actually be my favorite of the bunch. So next to Eugenie, I've swatched Sin. Sin has a browner undertone than Eugenie, which has a distinct blue undertone. And although both are matte, I'd say that Sin is a little flatter. Still similar though, and if you want something that looks a bit more like Eugenie, try blending Sin with a bit of Vino lip liner.
I think this collection is great, but I mean, I do think that if you weren't able to get these colors, you know, there are a lot of colors that are similar. Um, but you know, overall, they're really good lipsticks. I would say the four that I that I picked up, you know, good texture. The uh, margarita can be a little bit iffy, but I think you know all lighter shades of, that are matte tend to be like that. Yeah. So yeah, otherwise, I think this might be my favorite one too. I do like the vivid coolness that you see coming through from it. Like it actually doesn't necessarily put it into fall category. I think you know. Yeah, like I feel yeah, I probably I could wear this on like a hot summer night in August or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could, I could wear this pretty much year round. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so overall I really enjoyed this collection and like my sister said it sold out super quickly which is unfortunate but as we've mentioned there are lots of other alternatives that are very similar if you weren't able to grab it. I mean the packaging is great I think that's probably why it sold out so quickly um, but yeah not to worry if you didn't get it there were lots of alternatives and hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to subscribe to IC Melanie for more videos like this and all sorts of crazy and fun things. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you later, okay? Bye!